Welcome to New Vision's Software 3D and learning how to use MicroStation 3D tools and 3D commands. We want to begin first of all by introducing you some of the basic concepts in MicroStation. Uh, just in case some of you are just joining us for the first time in the 3D world, let alone in MicroStation, there are some terminologies that will be used throughout the CD. For instance, when we ask you to select an icon, we'll move our cursor over to the icon at this point we're going to touch the left mouse button. The left mouse button traditionally is what we call the data button. Notice that when I hold it down it's going to pull my menu across. Now if I move my cursor to one of these icons I can let go it will activate a command for me for placing a line. I touch the screen with my left mouse button. That's what we call a data button. Move my cursor to the right or to the left I placed another data button pressing my left bu mouse button and notice that it actually drew a line there. At this point I could cancel the command doing what we call a reset which is normally the right button. Touch the right button now you have stopped drawing a line. We have also can check to see how our mouse has been set with the buttons. If you go up to the word user come down to where it says button assignments a dialog box will pop open on the screen and here you'll see the three basic type of uh, button assignments you normally can see. A data button which is now button number one which is my left one. My reset button which is button number two. And remember the data button is how we select things on the screen, in menus or in icons while a reset command is how we either repeat a command or how we end a session of a, of a command. Now we're going to talk about the tentative button in just a second. But remember, anytime you want to change these buttons, as an example, tentative, click on the word tentative, move your cursor down to the bottom where it says press the button you want to use for tentative here. Right now, notice that we're using an Alt key in button number one, which means I would have to hold the Alt key down on my keyboard and then press the left mouse button, button number one, which is assigned right here. Let's say we want to change it to where both buttons have to be pressed down simultaneously. I'm going to move my arrow down to this side or this area of this box and press both my first and second button or the two outside buttons if you have a three button mouse. When you press both of them down, notice that right in here now it says that my snapping capabilities, my tentative, tentative points are usually points such as end points, midpoints, tangent points. It now tells me I have to press button number one and button number two simultaneously or in a chord. To switch it back to an alt, move your cursor down to this area, hold the alt key down on your keyboard and press the left mouse button. And now we basically have a tentative point being defined by an alt button one. Then you press the OK to make sure it takes effect. Now to use your tentative button, well, we're still going to use the line command. Move your cursor to the screen hold the alt key down and press the left mouse button and notice that a plus symbol appears and the object turns red. Now the color could be any highlight color but in this case if I select, if I accept it with my left button which is my data button notice that when I press it it's actually going to use that point to draw. Now when you press another data button, left mouse button to place that point there and I'm going to hit the right button to cancel. One last thing as we learn more about coordinates is that our tentative point, let's snap again, hold the alt key down, touch the left mouse button. You notice the plus symbol appears and this line here turns red. We can also type in delta values. So as an example if I type in dx equals 1 comma 0 and I do an enter, I actually told MicroStation to draw this line one inch away from where my tentative point was. And again I could go back and snap to an existing line. The point being here is that you have to remember the three terms that we use. Tentative snap simply means I want to find precise points. Data button or data point is when you touch the left mouse button. And of course a reset button is when you cancel.